To solve circuits with both independent and dependent sources using Thevenin's theorem, follow these structured steps. First, remove the load resistor to isolate the circuit and focus on finding the Thevenin equivalent across the load terminals. Next, use Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's laws to calculate the variable controlling the dependent sources. This is important because dependent sources rely on other circuit parameters. Now we can calculate Thevenin voltage same as earlier. This is the open circuit voltage across the load terminals A and B after the load is removed. Next, short circuit terminals A and B by connecting them with a wire. Recalculate the variable term for any dependent sources to account for this new condition. After that, calculate the short circuit current flowing from A to B. Now use the short circuit current and the Thevenin voltage to calculate the Thevenin resistance. With Thevenin voltage and Thevenin resistance calculated, you can now draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit. It consists of a single voltage source in series with a resistor. Now that the circuit has been simplified to a Thevenin equivalent, you can connect any load resistor to this circuit and easily calculate the voltage across and current through the load using Ohm's law. This process efficiently handles circuits with both independent and dependent sources, allowing for easy analysis of the load's behavior. Let's discuss an example. Find the Thevenin equivalent circuit for the load in the given circuit. Calculate the load current and power for the following loads. Here the circuit contains one independent voltage source and one dependent voltage source, so this shall be solved under the case 2. Remove load resistance and keep the nodes A and B disconnected. Now we can analyze the circuit without the influence of the load. The next step is to calculate the variable term Vx, which controls the dependent sources in the circuit. In this example, the voltage of the variable source is depend on the voltage across the resistor R1. Since the circuit contains only one loop, the current flowing through the circuit is the same for each component in the loop. The total current flowing through the circuit is equal to the current flowing through the resistor R1 and any other resistors in the loop. Using this relationship, we can calculate the value of the variable. Vx is equal to 3 volts, so the voltage supplied by the variable source is 6 volts. Now we can find the Thevenin voltage by the usual circuit analysis methods. I'll apply the KVL around the loop, we get the current through the loop as 3 milliamps. Now using this current, we can calculate the voltage across the node A and B, which is 9 volts. This is our Thevenin voltage. Now we short-circuit terminals A and B and calculate the current flowing through the short circuit. Remember, since we've changed the circuit by adding a short circuit, the variable term Vx we calculated earlier is no longer valid. We need to recalculate it. We can apply KVL to loop 1. This loop contains the resistors and the independent source. We get the current through the 1 kilom resistor to be 12 milliamps. Using Ohm's law, we get the voltage across this resistor is 12 volts. If you are skilled in circuit analysis, you may quickly observe the circuit and determine that Vx without going through detailed calculations. Next, apply KVL to loop 2. By solving KVL for this loop, we find the current I2 flowing through this loop to be 24 milliamps. Now apply KCL at node X, where the currents from different components meet. We find that the current I3 is 36 milliamps. This is the short circuit current flowing between terminals A and B. These recalculated values allow us to now compute the Thevenin resistance in the next step. In circuits with both independent and dependent sources, the Thevenin resistance is calculated by dividing the Thevenin voltage by the short circuit current, so the Thevenin resistance is 250 ohms. Now that we have both the Thevenin voltage and Thevenin resistance, we can construct the Thevenin equivalent circuit and analyze it for any load. Finally, let's calculate the load current for load with R resistance. When dealing with circuits that contain both independent and dependent sources, the process for finding the Thevenin equivalent involves two main steps. First, calculate the variable term controlling the dependent sources with terminals A and B open to determine the Thevenin voltage. Second, 
To find the Thevenin resistance, short circuit terminals A and B, calculate the short circuit current, and then divide the Thevenin voltage by this short circuit current. This method allows you to simplify complex circuits for easier analysis. Since now we have the Thevenin's equal circuit, we can test the circuit for any load. Let's calculate the load current and power for given loads. For 300 ohms, the load current is 16 milliamps. The load power is 77 milliwatts. For 200 ohms, the load current is 20 milliamps. The load power is 80 milliwatts. For 100 ohms, the load current is 26 milliamps. The load power is 68 milliwatts.